Alright, so welcome back to another video in this playlist. So, if you follow along in this playlist, now this is what we have. Alright, so in this video, we are going to make this uh, look cool in the desktop version. So, just go to the code what we have from the last video. And now, we need to create a, just a media screen. And make that comment in here. Say desktop size. Uh, what happening? Okay. Yeah. So let's open the media. Media and say minimal width. Let's set to 700 pixel and let's give a header say as you can see in here when i open in the desktop version uh, basically i need to push the header to the center i need to more space between the left and the right in here so let's give a maximal width to width uh, say 1200 pixel and let's make that center so margin 0 and auto save and let's see should be like that okay back to the code and I need to give a container as well this uh, maximal width and the margin so just copy and paste in here uh, why the margin is not copying paste and save here we go pretty cool so let's grab the hero wrap we need to create a grid template column to uh, one fraction one fraction which is repeat to time one fraction and save here we go we need to make this to the center so let's do text line center center and let's see um not text line should be line items all right save and here we go and let's change the quote wrap paragraph we need to change the size to make that more bigger so need to 1.3 ram and let's remove this thing right here let's push this uh, toggle to the top and see right here say team switch wrapper we need to say margin top to zero and let's see here we go and what else oh yeah we need to make this login form to more smaller okay so in here let's say login dash wrap dash box we need to give a maximal width to something like 25 RAM and we need to give a align self to flex n let's give a margin left 
to auto to push the content to the right side all right yeah i think we're done with the styling so yeah maybe you want to see the dark mode uh, if you're using this toggle it's not gonna work because we don't yet implement a javascript but we can do that uh, i have already showing the how you can implement dark mode in the maybe the first video in this playlist so in here in the html the first html tag you can add a data team and you can send team you can send dark save and here we go this is the dark mode now let's remove the data team right there and let's create another file which is main.js main.js and here let's make that smaller and in here let's uh, create a variable call uh, toggle switch or every name you want doesn't matter doesn't really matter so document let's say document why my auto complete does not work maybe we need to yeah now i believe it's gonna be work okay thank you document dot query selector we need to select uh, uh, say team dash switch all right and we need to grab the input with the type it should be equals to um uh, we don't need the quote in here type is going to be equals to check box all right um yeah something like that all right so now save and just make sure it's work so we need to uh add even listener so say toggle switch dot add even listener and it should be uh, change wherever is changing we need to run this function let's say console log hello so save and back to browser and go to console right here and now go to console and now every i am toggle this switch mode no you don't get any hello message oh yeah i forget to connect it i'm always forget to connect it so let's give a script and source and should be main.js cool so now i believe that's so work all right we get a hello every time is changing so back to here and basically you can create another function and put this uh, in another maybe cons let's say switch team it's gonna be equals to a row function uh, maybe you can paste in here and make sure spell cons okay cool so now you can paste in the function in here say switch team oh and save now it should should be work right it should be work and we don't we don't need just <laughs> just console log in there all we need to do is if uh it dot target dot check 
okay if checked we need to do say just console.log for now this is how i learn uh, javascript just do console.log every time you need to know what happening okay it's just say checked uh say where is that oh checked and let's say else let's just copy the console and paste in here say not just say not <laughs> all right so now if this active um we don't paste in any parameter in here forget that so save and should be work here we go check not check not all right so we know that's work so back to the code and in here we don't need to just console lock we need to do something else let's say document dot document element we need to set attributes and let's say data dash uh, team it should be uh, let's send dark all right and copy this line base in here and change that to like so now save and as you can see if i switch now we get a dark mode okay basically it's, it's just same like we showing in you it's you should be adding a data team yeah, dark in the html tag html in here see that so the problem is when we select the dark mode and if i reload that it should be back to the light mode we don't need that we need to save the uh, value to the local storage so how do we do that so back to the code and in here so really simple basically let's say local storage dot we are gonna set item and let's give a name to team team and give a value to dark that's it and space in here and let's set to uh like all right like okay so outside uh function let's just create a current team it should be going to be equals to uh, local storage dot we are going to get the item get the item uh, team okay remember team if that's checked we set the value dark if not we set the value light okay if uh, this local storage get item team is true we need to say local storage dot get item to the team say team i'm always wrong and if false we need to do just no Okay, under in here we need to say if current team and let's say a document dot document element and dot set attributes and say uh, data team let's send the current team should be every uh, every value in the local storage it it should be everything value in uh, local storage it's sometimes it's uh, dark and sometimes it's false it's depending on uh, you clicking the toggle right here so say if 
if dark so if current team should be equals equals to dark we need to toggle switch dot check it set that to true um yeah maybe i just want to comment that out for first i uh, just want to show you okay so let's go to the application and uh, local storage okay now we get a key team and a value like if i change that to the dark it should be change that to the dark and it should be uh, active right so if i reload that now we get a problem we get a team dark but this toggle it's false meaning it's meaning this is toggle for like right not for dark if i click this it's not do anything all right that, there's the problem so that's why i check in in here um if if the current team which is the team key team right here have a value dark we need to uh make the checkbox to true so now when i save and it's like and dark and when i reload the toggle it's 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 still go to the dark mode which is the true right all right so thank you so much for watching my video and i hope you learn something new from my video um yeah bye